Ghost. This is We the Play the Brent and Brushworks of YouTube. We are 16 days away from getting Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. But for today, I'm going to be focusing on the game that did get a lot of hype back in the days. So we're going to take one last look at Super Smash Brothers Wii U. Now, I've always set up a bunch of different rules for this. Um, picked out the songs. Let's say... Three minute matches. And it's going to be random. And I'll be finding level 9 computers. And I'll only be playing the brand new stages that were introduced to the Wii U version. So, let's dive into some nostalgia. One last time, for Super Smash Bros. Wii U. We, of course, will start off at Battlefield, because why not? That's where all battles should start off, ever since Super Smash Bros. Brawl happened. And we'll just see who comes out on top. I am Jigglypuff, in case you can't tell. I'm the one that says one player, so... That will hopefully... Uh, clear things up, even though you didn't need that. So just wish me luck. I'm just gonna see how good I can do with whatever random character I get. I feel like this isn't loud enough. Why? Why is that not sound loud enough? Okay, that might be a little bit better. Sorry about that, folks. I'm used to it sounding louder for some reason. Maybe I'm used to turning down the volume more for Nintendo Wii games because they're louder. I'm not sure how that works! Good job, Jigglypuff! That didn't work at all. So like I said, I am going to be playing a lot of the new stages, well, all the new stages introduced in the Wii U version, including a few that will not show up in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, regardless if maybe the stage has too many gimmicks for the Switch version to handle, or if it has some unnecessary let's just say stage hazards that would not make sense considering items and roster and assist trophies. Like, for example, Ridley. We're not going to get that one new Metroid stage from the Wii U because Ridley is a fighter, not a stage hazard. So Pyrosphere is a no-go. It's the last time you'll probably see Pyrosphere for quite a while, at least on my channel. So enjoy it while it lasts. Oh, geez, Andros. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it would work. It's worked just about as good as any other time I've tried to use it professionally in my videos. Stop singing, Jigglypuff! It's not working! Ooh, Master Ball. Yes, Keldeo! I do not know if Keldeo is going to show up in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I would like it if he does, but I have no clue if he's actually going to be one of the Pokemon that shows up. So, that might be the last time you see Keldeo, too. Rip. I'd like to see Manaphy return, honestly, but I'm not sure if that will happen here. Yes, I won! That's one W for me. Let's try to see if I can keep track. Or you could just keep track at home. How many times I win, and how many times I lose. Heck, I could just set it up to Team Smash and make it really unfair for me. But I won't. That would be too mean. I already got Classic Mode on this game to do that for me. Oh, 
Okay, one other thing. I'll also only be playing one stage per character. So even though Mario Galaxy is new, I'm only going to focus on Mushroom Kingdom U and then move on to the Donkey Kong stage, which Jungle Hijinx also doesn't show up on Nintendo Switch. So, we'll do Mushroom Kingdom U first, then Jungle Hijinx, so Mario, Donkey Kong, Link, Samus, and so on. Here we go! Who will win this time? I'm not exactly the best Marth player, but... I oh, don't know, I can handle him kind of well. Uh-oh. Yeek! I love the new effects for the hammer on Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Because it imitates um, the Donkey Kong arcade game way more than any of the other games have with the hammer item. Nice! Oh, that didn't actually defeat him. Oh no, Kuko. Or Kuko. I can't pronounce it. Even after all this time. Someone give me a Zelda encyclopedia. Because I'm never going to say these enemies' names right. Ever. Oh well. Oh, yeah, I wonder if, uh, wow, I forget what it was called. Um, give me a second. I probably won't remember it, but it might be better if I don't try to hurt my head. Don't. Oh, no, he got the mask of ball with Kyogre. Dang it. Kyogre. <laughs> oh, boy, Lucas is doing great. I'm dead. Yeah, I'm not making that. <laughs> Up and there's Nabbit. Gosh dang Nabbit. Ooh. I'll take that. I honestly thought Gusty Bellows was not going to show up in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Just because of how um, ridiculous it is just to push someone off the stage using that aggressively. Especially on a stage that doesn't even have a cliff. If you only have to knock out the character from the left or the right, then that makes it easier. Oh, I missed! Okay, community question. What are your thoughts about the new animations of a lot of the final smashes for various characters? And the following community question is, which is your favorite? Those are your community questions. Answer them if you'd like to. Because I'm not going to force you to. <laughs> Ooh, that's not good. I wonder if I should have put a score counter. Dang it, I probably should have put a score counter. Well, Lucas won. And I got third place. That's a big fat L for me. Ah, well. Okay, next up is a Donkey Kong stage. So, apologies if you really thought I was playing every single new stage. I did not clarify myself very well when I first started talking about how I'm good to do this, so... Hopefully you're not too mad at me. I'll tell you one thing I'm mad about, that this stage is not in Ultimate! Why?! I mean, yes, there's a lot of different crazy gimmicks that... might be too much. But this stage is beautiful. Oh, boy. Speaking of things that might not be in Ultimate... I'm not sure if Arceus is actually going to make it. Arceus might be too OP for Ultimate. What are your thoughts on that? I haven't seen any evidence that Arceus is in this game. But at the same time, I haven't seen every single assist trophy in Pokemon, so I could be wrong. 
I like to watch um, various videos of the ultimate being played in tournaments. So I've been able to get some information just by watching those videos closely. Like, did you know, this is a real thing, did you know that Caesar is coming back as a Pokemon you can find in a Pokeball in Ultimate? Now, Caesar's moves will be different than they were back in Melee. But I'm just confirming right now, because I saw with my own eyes, that Caesar is a Pokemon that can appear out of a Pokeball. So Caesar is back, baby! Whether or not anyone's excited about that remains to be seen, but just wanted to give you a little bit of trivia. Just before you find it out for yourself in the game. Trust me, I'm a huge Smash fan. I've been trying to keep track of all the different items assist trophies. And even music that appears in Ultimate. It's obsessive, yes, but I'm enjoying every single moment of it because it just it gives me more to look forward to when it comes to Ultimate. Just trying to figure out how many of the 800 or so songs that are said to be in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate will be premiering or returning from previous games, whether they're the original song or remixes of said songs. Wait, what am I doing? I'm not gonna jump up there. I'll be beamed. That would be dumb. So I've got some other Smash content that I'm also going to put up very soon. In fact, I, I kind of went ahead of um, everything I was going to try to talk about before I started playing. First off, if you're expecting Pokemon Let's Go Eevee episode today, it will happen, but I woke up late. I didn't... I had a late start, basically, and I haven't set everything up accordingly. So, uh, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee episode will premiere later on today. As for tomorrow being Turkey Day, a.k.a. Thanksgiving, I'll do one live stream, and that's it. No Eevee episodes tomorrow, but one live stream. I'll promise one live stream. And I won't say what it is, other than it has to do with Smash. I think there was something else I was going to talk about, but I forgot what it was. RIP. Oh well, off the Skyloft. I love this stage. And I'm very happy it comes back in Ultimate. Love this game, honestly, in case you couldn't tell from the past two or three, probably two at this point, um, videos I've made for the game with my Let's Play. I'm not going to be able to play this as much as I'd like to. I used to own the game, but times can be tough. Wow. <laughs> Good job, boy. How it computers so easy. They make it look so easy trying to let go of the hammer. I'm not sure if I've ever tried to actually do that or not. Okay. Gosh darn lightning bolt! Boy's winning. Boy is definitely winning right now. I'm gonna have to target him. <laughs> good job, boy! Very good. Oh, uh, what was I saying? Breath of the Wild, I think? No, wrong one again. Skyward Sword. I'm not going to be able to play as much of Skyward Sword as I want to. I used to own the game, but times can be tough. So I've had to sell a lot of my games to GameStop in order to get some money to either afford new games, hardy har, I know the irony in that, or to get a little bit of extra money just so I can pay for a meal for the week. To pay for my groceries. 
it's not fun when I go, when I want to go play a game, like, let's just say as a really good, ironic example, Wii Sports. There was a time I wanted to play Wii Sports, but guess what? I ended up getting rid of the game because I had money problems. Why Wii Sports, considering that game comes with the Nintendo Wii? I have no idea, but I am very disappointed in myself. So, if I want to play Wii Sports, I'm going to have to find a way to either borrow it from my birds if they still have their copies, rent it from the library, or try to find a way to purchase it, where it's through GameStop or online. Hey, I found Mew! Too bad she does this weird ear thing in this game. I hope that, uh, that is correct. I hope that that's resolved in Ultimate, because that was one thing that bugged me about Mew in this game. Her ear is always slanted weird. It's not something that I brought up before, but it is something that... I have secretly been annoyed with. But I mean, if the ear thing happens in Ultimate, I'm not going to throw a big tantrum about it, because there is so much about Ultimate that's just Ultimate. It's just really, really good. They've done so much with the game. Even if there's not a stage creator, I'm not going to be upset. Because I'm going to spend tons and tons of hours playing Ultimate. Just versus mode. I can play it on the go. What more is there to be said? Okay. Pyrosphere. You all know why this stage isn't coming back to Ultimate. It's because Ridley is a stage hazard in this stage. That doesn't make sense if Ridley is going to be a fighter in Ultimate. So yeah, Pyrosphere it would definitely be scrapped for that reason alone. I'm sure I might be on the ball with that um, idea, but I mean, I'm not going to confirm or deny that that could be true. I don't work for Nintendo, so I don't know how they do their board meetings. So unlike a certain person, I will not name names... But unlike that person, I'm not going to say that is the reason they took this stage out. Because I don't know for sure. I'm just speculating. Speaking of the big guy himself... Come here, Ridley! You're joining Team Diddy! <laughs> Boy, that was bad. That's bad. Very bad. Come on. Please, Ridley, please! I like that Mythalos, the monster hunter character, is basically the replacement for Stage Hazard Ridley as a assist trophy. That's basically what it is. If you're not facing him as an actual boss in the World of Light, then Rathalos, excuse me, Rathalos, acts as Ridley in this stage, where if you attack him, you can gain him on your team to attack other players, if you don't try to knock him out yourself, or if the opponent doesn't knock them out. Something like that. Oh no. I'm not doing too hot this time. Not that I've been doing that good in the last few matches. Got third place again, in case you didn't notice that, during jungle, not jungle hygiene, Skyloft. Uh, let's see. I think I'm going to do four characters per video. So this is going to be the last stage I do today. That will save up on some time and make it so it takes less time for this to be uploaded. 
Oh, it's Dylan. Dylan's going to have a new outfit, which is going to be based off the new game for the 3DS in Ultimate. I don't know how many Dylan fans there are, but let me know if you've played uh, one of the two Dylan games. Dylan the Armadillo. I can't remember what the games are called. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Also, I'd like to mention this. When I first saw footage for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, I thought they scrapped the clapping animations altogether. But it seems like after a lot of work has been put into the game that all the characters do clap on the results screen. So, just a little bonus detail I wanted to mention. Anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. Stay tuned for more stages and more crazy character matchups coming up in the following videos to celebrate the Wii U version of Super Smash Bros. one last time. Sorry, I touched the Wii U by accident. But until then, and until my next videos, this has been We The Play. I got nothing left to say, so I hope you enjoy your day. Get ready to smash. I'll see you on the battlefield. And overall, catch you later.